Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Kiel Miller of Pandora Astrology and with me is Julia. Hey guys, it's Julia Migos and I'm joining from San Francisco. And I'm here in Berkeley, California. And today we want to talk with you about the astrology of the coronavirus pandemic. There was an event that happened in January that was so uh, ridiculously hot that it seems to have, uh, it seems to be taking basically all year to kind of unwind uh, the heat that was created there. So here's what I mean. Sometimes uh, in our skies, when a couple of planets connect, they create something called a hot degree. And a hot degree is the place where they connect. The zodiac itself is a circle measured in degrees each sign being uh, one twelfth of the circle, so 30 degrees large. And this January on the 12th, Jupiter, uh, Saturn and Pluto met at 22 degrees of Capricorn. And we've made videos about this before, so you can find them in our 2020 news playlist, um, particularly about the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, which has very much the feel of um, oppression, really, of uh, intensely concentrated fear, and, uh, and also it has the tone of uh, rooting out corruption. So this is a very, very heavy event, and this is the day that the event happened precisely, but it's the sort of thing that has such a long horizon that you feel it for months or even years as it's approaching, and then uh, you also you know feel it quite a bit for the year or two surrounding it. So we're in that zone right now. So um, a hot degree or a critical degree has a way of taking on a life of its own. And even when the two planets have left that exact spot, other planets can come along and trigger it. And that is what is going on this year. This year, that spot in 22 degrees of Capricorn is going to be transited and triggered by Jupiter three times and then later in the year by Mars three times. Now, Julia, what does Jupiter do when it transits something? Uh, it tends to make things a lot bigger. Yeah, it expands. Now, on the one hand, and we made a video about this called Hope in the Darkness, as Jupiter is dancing with Pluto and Saturn this year, it's gonna bring hope. It's gonna bring a feeling of confidence and expansion but it might in some cases also bring overconfidence and overexpansion, a sort of a bluster, if you will. And um, so there's expansion, and then there's also that tendency to blow things up bigger than they were and make them visible, a sort of an outbreak, if you will. So uh, Jupiter is going to be hopping back and forth across this critical degree. So here's a diagram with the critical degree being on the vertical right here. So there's the symbol for Saturn, the symbol for Pluto, 22 degrees of Capricorn. This line marks that spot in the sky. And now you probably know that planets don't just move forward all the time. They go back and forth. They move retrograde for several months every year. Jupiter does this. It's no exception. So this is a graphical display of Jupiter's movement back and forth across the very spot where it connects with Saturn and Pluto. So it makes its first pass to that hot degree in March. It then turns retrograde May 14th and then backs up through that spot again in July, turns direct in September and passes through it again in November. Now all of that would be enough. However, Jupiter is going to be conjuncting Pluto even as Pluto moves on. So Pluto moves on from 22 degrees and travels back and forth in a very narrow span this year. It goes up to 24 degrees, backs up to 22 degrees, and then forward again. And as Pluto is doing that, Jupiter meets up with Pluto in motion too. So that is going to add some... Um, some occasions to this line. So Pluto and Saturn met at 22 degrees Capricorn. After that, they continued moving. And then there are these dates when Jupiter catches up with Pluto in motion. And those dates are here, April 4th. And you see the arrow pointing to that spot. And then again on June 29th. 
and then again November 12th, which is during the final pass of uh, Jupiter to the hot degree because Pluto and Jupiter meet up in 22 degrees on that occasion. So this adds, um, you might say, hot spots to the whole picture. So Julia, what are your thoughts about what we should notice when Jupiter is, is uh, connecting either with Pluto or with this hot degree? What should we watch out for? Um, especially when Jupiter is retrograde and connecting with that, I think that we have to watch out for a magnification or a reactivation um, within uh, what had initially happened within that degree. Yes. Yeah. So I think we're going to expect flare-ups, flare-ups of the pandemic or of public response to the pandemic. Um, Certainly bad behavior uh, is likely to happen. Uh, endangering behavior is likely to happen. Um, and I wanna add another layer, which is that uh, Mars is going to be impacting all this too, because wouldn't you have it? <laughs> How could we get so lucky, right? Mars is going to be moving along, uh, and I can go back to that original diagram you can't see it here because Mars is in Sagittarius in January at the beginning of this year, but over the course of the year, it travels around the wheel and arrives over here in Aries, wherein it forms a square to that critical degree several times in the summer. So that would be on this diagram. So Mars makes hits to this famous degree from August, August 11th and 12th. Uh, October 7th to 10th and December 18th to 20th and I've put circles here for those. So Julia, what do you think Mars would do when Mars triggers something like that? Sure. What is its uh, action? Yeah, when, um, when Mars went over 22 degrees in Capricorn, um, I'm trying to remember, I think that, uh, do, do you have that date actually available to you? It, um, it, um, it hasn't Mars. happened since last year. You mean in like December or something? No, no, because Mars um, went over 22 degrees as well in Capricorn. Oh. After the Pluto Saturn conjunction in January, Mars followed. Yeah, I'll look it up while you talk. Yeah, so I remember, you know, when when this conjunction was first beginning, I mean, ever since I've been studying astrology, people have been talking about this conjunction. Mm, it is upcoming, it is yeah. extremely historic. Um, and it happens only 40 years or so. So I, okay. I've had this on my radar for the past seven years or so. Um, and when Mars initially passed that 22 degrees in Capricorn, um, that, I believe, was a time where things really, we really began to know what we were dealing with. It was March uh, March twentieth uh, or twenty first. When the lockdowns like right began. around there. Because I remember, um, you know, I remember watching the month of January with all this going on. We had made a video mm. about it in the fall, and yes. I'd heard about it since I was a young astrologer. And <laughs> I remember really listening carefully to the news events in January. Mm. Um, and a friend tipped me off to coronavirus. I remember at the time because his husband is a is a doctor, and he was telling me about it. And I thought that that was pretty interesting. But I remember also being focused on Iran uh, because the United States actually assassinated one of their generals. That's so right. Just throwing that in the background. Uh, this might not just be coronavirus <laughs> we're looking at. Uh -huh. um, you know. And um, so Mars, mm -hmm. when Mars, I was also particularly in January when I when I saw Mars was going over that degree in March. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember thinking to myself, that's the point where we're really going to start to know what we're dealing with here. Wow. And that's when the lockdowns began and sort of the the, the beginning of, of really sort of understanding how um, exponential this has been, etc. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, so when Mars reactivates that degree in the sign of Aries, Mars is also going retrograde um, during that time period. I mean, Mars is a major trigger planet. It, it just, it tends to trigger things. So I actually kind of think that might be the initiatory push, and then Jupiter might be the thing that just kind of makes the background magnification of everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I'm going to add a circle here for that you know, it was March 21st or 22nd, which actually falls right on the top of this diagram where um, 
where the first hit of Jupiter is. So yeah, that was <laughs> really something. And I feel like, you know, we'd all like to go back to normal. We'd all like to go back to work. We'd like to send our kids back to school. We want to gather with family, but this stuff ain't over till it's over. And I think November is going to be pretty intense because of the way um, both P Pluto returns to that 22 degree spot, Jupiter returns to that 22 degree spot, and Mars ain't done with us either. No. So everybody awesome. be super, super careful on these dates. There's one more piece I want to throw in there, which is that um, July 4th is our nation's birthday. And that day there is also a lunar eclipse. And that lunar eclipse is going to be, therefore, in the birthday chart for our country this year. Uh, that makes for a pretty intense year. The, the birthday chart, the, the solar return chart for a person locks in influences that are there for the whole rest of the year. So when our nation has its birthday on July 4th and there's a lunar eclipse, that feeling of the lunar eclipse is going to be captured uh, for the whole rest of the year until our nation has another birthday. And we're going to make another video about that. So um, watch for that. But, um, you know, lunar eclipses can be so emotional and they can just be so um, filled with emotion driven actions. And so if anybody invites you to a 4th of July celebration, maybe you should stay home. It, it could be kind of scary out there. So I think, Julia, I think that's all we have to say on this topic. Do you think so? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Well, until next time, we feel like we want to make a video about this stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. And you can find this video in our 2020 news playlist, also our June news playlist on our YouTube channel, Pandora Astrology. And you can always find our monthly horoscope on uh, monthly horoscope and our monthly forecast on our website pandora astrology and until next time see you around the cosmos stay safe stay healthy bye, bye, -bye.